Hi guys, um, very, a very brief video here because I have to be out in less than half an hour and I'm not even dressed already yet, so um, yes, uh, much to do this morning, um, but I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible to um, review an app that I've just, pretty much, just this minute, discovered in the App Store. Um, it's purchase price, it's priced, but well worth the stupidly low price and on it anyway. And it has been something that I've been looking for, for the longest time. Now, um, most Mac users who stick with our def the default fo audio player, iTunes, which I highly recommend anyway because it's fantastic in my opinion, um, you will notice that iTunes have created and integrated their own social network into into um, I not into iTunes, but there's no option to share your song information to Facebook. You know, the most popular and, you know, the most famous, the most widely used social network on the internet. Now, there is that option for tracks on the actual iTunes store before even purchasing, but tracks within your music collection, no chance you're screwed. Now, I've been wanting something that counters that for the longest time and while just browsing, just randomly browsing the app store just a minute ago, I came across this app. Okay, and let me see if I can bring it up for you now. It's called Now Playing with an exclamation mark. There it is. Look, I've already got it installed. So it's not going to show the price there, but it's 59 pence um, in US dollars or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what that would be. Um, let me see if I can bring it up for you. Oops. One play. No. Fifty-nine. Um... I'm guessing that's around 95 cents to a dollar. It'll probably be about a dollar for you um, guys in the States. As I said, it's called Now Playing and it is fantastic. By the looks of it here as well, they have another app. I'm guessing that's for sharing your song information on Twitter. Now, I don't think I need it so much for Twitter. So I won't, if it's priced, I won't be purchasing that. But yeah, 59 pence. And basically, all you'll do, let me take my uh, volume music, my sound volume down a little bit so I don't blast your ears off. Um, so you might get some background, you know, slight background music and stuff for a few seconds, but it's not enough to distract or probably to breach copyright. Um, so let me just, let me just show you, okay? Um, I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to resume a song um, from the album I was just listening to before shoot before shooting this video, um, and then I'm going to show you how this app works. Right, I have audio played now. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, now, if I just close my watch here, as we'll see, once it's open, once you've installed it and you're both running, as we see. You have this little icon here in the menu bar. Let me just zoom, zoom in and show you this one. Now, if you click that, single click it, you get this beautiful display, kind of like um, Toast from Winamp on Windows. And it gives you the full song information. Here you've got the uh, track title, life, love and everything. Um, the um, artist name, in this case, Derek Muller and Tony Martin. Um, and then the album title, which in this case is the Cage 2. And then you've got the information down here as well. Um, now you can skip tracks, you can, so you can control that from this app as well. You can pause a track, 
you can rate a track, which I'm going to do by the way, um, and then if you click the little envelope thing, it will post the information to your Facebook. Um, now I can't show you that in action, um, and it won't actually, when you actually open the app and you actually run the app, it will ask to connect to your Facebook profile. Um, and basically after that, once you click this um, icon, it will post to your um, Facebook automatically. And the only way you'll know it's posted is by actually going to your Facebook pro Facebook page and looking. Um, but I can guarantee you I've tested it out. It works. It will, um, it will um, post to your Facebook. I can't show you. Um, I've already done it once, which is why I didn't click the icon there, as I say. Um, I can't show you it because it's on my face personal Facebook page. I don't have any official or professional Facebook page. Um, only my Twitter. And, like I say, this app isn't for Twitter, but it does look like I've done a Twitter one as well. So if you um, want the same thing for Twitter, check that app, app, app out, and I'm pretty sure it'll work exactly the same way. So yeah, I five star reviewed it. I highly recommend it. If you've been looking for this exact function like I was, I highly recommend you pick up Now Playing for um, from the App Store for posting your iTunes music info straight to Facebook. Um, unfortunately, you can't post a message with it. That's the only downside. But you can always com comment on your own song posting and just you know add your little you know, a few little message there. Um, so, yeah, leave it at that. I'm going to rush my arse off now to get myself ready to get out in time so I don't miss the bus and don't end up late for my appointment. Um, so, this is J100R. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.